Hey Wellness Warrior, a B12 deficiency, it'll change your mood, it'll crash your energy levels, and it'll even disrupt your brain and nervous system. Does this sound familiar? Well, you may be suffering from the common signs of a B12 deficiency that most doctors miss. B12 is an essential nutrient that our body needs but is unable to produce. This means that we have to rely on outside sources in order to get it. We can get it from food or even supplementation. Now, thanks to our stressed out lifestyles and of course, all that processed food out there, many people are B12 deficient. You may even be B12 deficient and not even know it. So why do you need B12? B12 plays many critical roles in the body. It's important for healthy functioning nerves. It's required for the production of red blood cells and also critical for healthy DNA. Now, clinically, I see a reduction in red blood cells in people's lab work all the time. And we take this seriously because you don't wanna deal with the grave symptoms that this causes if it doesn't get fixed. And what's my action plan for this? Well, you guessed it, B12. So how in the world would you become deficient in B12? Well, it's different for everybody. For some people, they lack the ability to break it down from their food. Other people lack a protein that's made in the stomach and it's called intrinsic factor, which helps you break down B12 so that you can utilize it. So if you don't have this intrinsic factor, well, you'll certainly have a B12 deficiency, but there's other reasons as well. Things like gut inflammation, or according to the research, even gastrointestinal conditions. So if you're thinking like ulcerative colitis, IBS, Crohn's disease, all these issues that people suffer from today, that's a huge way to have a B12 deficiency. A pH imbalance in the gut is another way. And typically, if you have a lot of burping after meals or you develop a lot of gas in your stomach, that's a good way to know if you have a pH imbalance. Also, if you're taking medications, if you're following a vegetarian diet because it lacks meat, which has a lot of B12 in it, or if you are just dealing with chronic and persistent stress, or if you're someone who is elderly. Now I'll share with you three quick fun facts about B12. The first one is that it's also known as cobalamin. So if you're ever reading a label and you see cobalamin, that means B12. And I don't know why they have to have so many different names for this stuff. Can we just keep it easy and simple? Now the second quick fun fact is that it's water soluble. This means that it'll dissolve in water, but it also means that it's hard to take too much B12 because whatever excess your body doesn't need, it just excretes it, so it's no big deal. Now, the third quick fun fact is that your body stores a substantial amount of B12 in the liver. Your liver will hold up to three years or more worth of B12, so you don't run out quickly. Now, that is pretty cool, and it shows how smart our body is. Smash that thumbs up button if you think your body is intelligent. Now, with all that said, despite being able to store B12 for so long, a deficiency is still common. A friend of mine was having all the different signs of a B12 B12 deficiency, so I recommended for him to go and get a shot of B12. He went and got it and he proclaimed that it had changed his life. So you too may be dealing with some of these subtle side effects of a B12 deficiency that we're gonna cover. The first major symptom is weakness and fatigue. Now the reason for this symptom is because B12 is responsible for the production of red blood cells. And red blood cells are responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body. So you could imagine if we don't have enough B12 to produce the red blood cells, then a lack of red blood cells means a lack of oxygen for the entire body. A patient of mine described this symptom as it felt like he was walking through water all day long, every day. Depleted red blood cells are associated with this next common symptom of a B12 deficiency. That's breathlessness and dizziness. Sometimes you may feel that you just can't catch your breath despite doing no physical activity. And then this leads to dizziness. Well, this lack of oxygen in the body all circles back to a B12 deficiency. A perfect example was a patient of mine, and we'll call him Larry. Now, Larry was out on his lawnmower, and we'll actually call him Lawnmower Larry so that we can remember this story. And one of the things he noticed is when he was out mowing his lawn multiple times, he would find that his heart would start racing. Now, a racing heart is the third symptom of a B12 deficiency, but that wasn't all that would happen. His heart would start racing, he would notice breathlessness, and then after that would come the dizziness. He thought he was having a panic attack, but it had nothing to do with a panic attack. It had everything to do with a B12 deficiency. Let me know in the comments below, 
Have you ever had any of these symptoms that are so common in today's society? Now, the fourth sign of a B12 deficiency is very frustrating because it impacts your mood. Now, nobody wants to deal with depression and then nobody wants to be around you if you're grumpy. As we mentioned earlier, a B12 deficiency will have an impact on your nervous system and that means your brain. And according to the research, there's some other symptoms that are associated with this problem. It's irritability, depression, anxiety, forgetfulness, and a poor memory are all associated with a B12 deficiency. The next very common sign of a B12 deficiency is visual disturbances. And whoa, nobody likes that. I've actually dealt with this personally. I told my wife one time, some days I wake up and I can see really good. And other times my vision is horrible. It's all blurry. I can't see anything I feel like. Well, it turns out this was the same time I was dealing with some gut issues. And as we learned earlier, gut issues can cause a B12 deficiency. And lo and behold, I had one. Because a B12 deficiency will actually attack the optic nerve. But the good news is as you become sufficient and get plenty of B12 back into your system, the damage will repair itself. Now, number six on our list of signs of B12 deficiency is a swollen tongue. Now, this happens in rare cases, in more extreme cases as well, but do know that it exists. And number seven on our list of a sign of a B12 deficiency is the feeling of pins and needles in your hands and feet. Now, that all sounds terrible, so what do we do about it? The first thing that we can do is we can look to some vitamin B12 rich foods. These vitamin B12 rich foods include red meat, and remember, this is why many vegetarians are lacking in B12. Also fish, poultry, eggs, and also dairy. Now, we wanna make sure that when consuming any of these different animal products, we're using grass-fed ones, pasture-raised, and also, when it comes to fish, we wanna get wild-caught fish. Now, this is where things get really tricky. Despite eating all these B12-rich foods, you still can have a vitamin B12 deficiency, and this is where supplementing with B vitamins comes in really handy. Now, this is really important to know. B vitamins work best when you take them in conjunction with one another. So what this means is that it's better to take a B complex with a B12 in it versus just taking a B12 alone. I'll put a link in the description to the one that I personally use. And if you're still not sure if you have a B12 deficiency, the best and most sure way to know is to do a blood test. You can do a blood test that is looking at your B12 levels. And what I recommend is that when you get a test for this, you also check your folate levels because if you have a depleted amount of folate in the body, it can mask a B12 deficiency. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure on educating you on how you can take control of your health naturally. I recommend you watch this video next.